Hey guys, Cody here with Import Image Racing. Thanks for checking out another video. Today we're gonna to be removing the front bumper on the 2022 WRX. Now the reason we're making this video is for you guys to be able to reference in the future if we're doing a headlight install or a front grille install or anything where we have to remove the bumper, then you guys will be able to reference this video and find out how to remove your bumper. So this is gonna work for currently 2022 and up. Uh, so as long as your front bumper looks like that, you're gonna be okay. This is gonna be a good video for you. Uh, if they do a facelift design, things might change. But again, if your front bumper looks like this, you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, pop the hood. You're gonna find a lever located under your dash at the far left side. Go ahead and give that a little pull and it's gonna pop your hood. You'll find your hood release right here in the center, right above the emblem. You're gonna pull that to the side, pop the hood open. So all we're gonna need for this install is a 10 millimeter socket and some sort of pry tool. You can use a tack puller or a plastic clip removal tool, anything, you could even use a flathead. But what we're gonna do is, if you look on the top of the bumper here, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six 10 millimeter bolts going across the top. So what we're gonna do is remove all of those and then we'll have some plastic pop clips that need removed. Make sure you sit all of your bolts and clips in a safe place where you're gonna be able to find them and not lose them. I have a little magnetic tray over here, so I'm gonna sit all my bumper clips and bolts in here so that I don't lose them. Now coming across the top again, you're gonna see five clips total. Three of them are the push style clips where they will pull out and you'll remove them. And then two of them are actually the push in style clips where it's a little button that you'll push in and remove the clip. And we're gonna see a couple more of those and a couple more of these going around the bumper. So I'll show you the quick removal of both of those. Now for this style clip, all we have to do is take your flathead or your pry tool and get underneath there while keeping the bottom of the clip in place and you can just pull up and remove the clip from the bumper. So now you can remove all three of these on the top of the bumper. Now this style clip here is just a push clip. All we're gonna do is push in the very center of the clip. See how we just push that in? Now we're gonna take our flat head or our pry tool and get underneath of this and pull up and it'll come right out. When you go to reinstall these, you will have to push this back. And when you push it back, it's gonna look like that. And then you can install it and then push down the button till you hear it click and now it's reinstalled. Once we have all those bolts removed off of the top of this, we can actually remove this whole metal bracket. It'll just lift right off the bumper. We can sit that aside for now. Make sure you don't accidentally shut your hood with that on there. So if you want to sit it on the ground so you don't lose it, that's a good thing to do. And make sure that you reinstall that before reinstalling all your bolts and clips. So what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to take it down the side of the bumper and underneath the bumper, I'm going to cut it right in the middle. So you guys will only have to see one side, but it's going to be completely reversed on this side. So once you do this side, you'll know exactly how to do this side. You'll just basically do the same thing over again. So you guys remember those push clips that we just dealt with on the top of the bumper? Now we have them on the sides of the bumper. So you're gonna have one way up at the top and one right here close to the middle. It's gonna be the same on both sides. We're gonna remove those. Now let's dive under the bumper. We have one pop clip right here. This is the first style that we looked at. We're just going to pry this middle piece up and pull it out. All right, so working our way over from the edge to the center, we're gonna have one, two, three more pop clips. We can ignore this one. We're just looking at these three right here. Same thing as before, just pull the center out and pull the clip out. You'll see that these look a little bit different. Uh, yours may look different than ours. We've had this bumper off two or three times, so some of these may have gotten mixed up, but you'll have those three to remove. Continuing to move to the center of the bumper, we have these two clips right here, and this one actually is the middle point in the bumper. So we're gonna remove this one right here. And our final clip in this video is going to be this one right here in the very center of the bumper. Now that we are in the middle, we can assume it's exactly the same on the other side, which it is. And so you guys can basically just mirror what you just did onto the other side 
and we can get this thing removed. So now that we've removed all of our physical bolts and clips from the car, we can remove the bumper finally. There is some built-in pop clips that are holding this bumper on, and you'll see that when we go to remove it. All you have to do is pull on the bumper. So right here on the side, we are just going to pull out on it, and you're gonna see it is going to pop out from the fender. Then we're gonna pull out towards the headlight, and you see all these little pop clips just slide out from their groove in here and unclip. So now we have this whole half of the bumper off. We're gonna go over to the other side, do the same thing. And what I actually like to do here is take one of the pop clips that we previously removed from the top and reinstall it. And the reason that I'm doing this is that in case the bumper decides to fall off and hit the floor, it's not going to, it's gonna get caught by that one clip. So now I'm pulling on this side, doing the same thing that we just did on the other side. You can see the entire bumper is loose and ready to come off. Now we're gonna unplug our fog lights. If your vehicle doesn't have fog lights, you don't have to worry about this, but we are gonna unplug the fog lights just to make sure that we don't accidentally rip a wire or pull out a connector or mess anything up. So while the bumper is all supported by this one clip, we can move it pretty easily and get back in here and unplug our fog lights. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So with the bumper pretty much removed, we can pull this whole side out and you can see our fog light connection right there. So all we're gonna do is squeeze this together and remove it from the car. Do that same thing on the other side. All right guys, now we have our fog lights unplugged. We have the whole bumper ready to remove except for this one pop clip that I put back up at the top to hold it in place. So just grab the bumper, support it, and pull out that pop clip. And then we can just guide this down. And that's it, your front bumper is now off the car. You can do whatever you gotta do. And now to reinstall this bumper is very simple. We're just gonna do exactly what we just did, just in reverse. And that's really it, guys. It's not that hard to remove the bumper off your 2022 WRX. This is gonna help you access any of those mods that you need to get to uh, by removing your bumper. So. so now that you guys are masters of removing your front bumper cover, I wanna give you a couple quick tips on how to reinstall it. Uh, if you have any difficulties, what I would start with is just by putting one of those pop clips back up into the top so you can line up the sides without the bumper falling off on you. If you go to push this thing back in and it seems like it's caught on something, odds are it's caught underneath. There's like a little tray that runs underneath here that basically allows air to flow directly into the radiator and the AC condenser. And that tray sometimes gets stuck and there's little tabs. And once you're under the bumper, you'll see those where they have to go underneath that. And if they don't, they'll get caught up above and this won't be able to push flush against and you won't be able to line up the bumper. So if you're having any issues, I would check there and odds are that's it. When you come over to reinstall the side pieces, you're just gonna wanna come along the side and slowly push in. You'll hear that audible click in underneath the headlight and then work your way around and wrap around to the side and make sure if this isn't clipping in, it could be stuck behind the fender guard where it would pop in to the sides here. If you're going to push this in and it doesn't wanna go back, just double check, you may have to pull back on the bumper and like move it around the fender guard and then push it back in. But those are really the only issues you should have with reinstall, so hopefully that helps you a little bit if you had any questions about the reinstall process. But again, besides that, it's just completely reverse of what you did to take it off. That's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Hopefully this was helpful. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. You'll be seeing a lot of mods here soon, as soon as they're available. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.